the battle, then it ain't your night. The game is back. They're not new to this, but true to this. I can't remember a day I didn't have the basketball. I play basketball for the love of the game. You're going to see a battle. The athletes reinvigorate and motivate to win. The game is not new, but fresh. Anybody can beat anybody if you don't come ready to play. Banner season. It's ring season. Here we go again. The party don't end. Get up, get up, get up, and get there. The love. The fans. The atmosphere. New faces, but the same tradition. We are the Tar Heels. Get up, get up, get up, and get down. Get up, get up, get up, and get down. A new year. A new opportunity. I can't wait to get going. I'm excited. Not new to this. True to this. Get up, get up, get up and get down. Get up, get up, get up and get down. Get up, get up, get up and get down. The road to San Antonio, Texas heats up tonight. A couple of conference champions on display. Charlotte at a Conference USA, the running champs. NC State, the three-time champions of the ACC. We're welcome to courtside with the national champion, Ernie Myers. I'm Evan Budjovic. Two teams that won conference titles a year ago. How important will that conference championship pedigree be tonight? Well, we'll see. I mean, Charlotte, you know, they made it to the tournament. They won their tournament. NC State, three tournaments in a row in the ACC. Uh, NC State has national aspirations trying to get to the Final Four this year. And Charlotte, they're they trying to get to the tournament. Let's focus on a dynamic guard, Diamond Johnson. Ten assists to one turnover. How is she so effective passing the ball? I mean, she's came to play this season. She silenced all the critics. She's running the point guard. She's getting the ball to, you know, players and, and spots where they can score. Diamond Johnson is doing it all so far this season. 13 points as well in her effort on Sunday. A dynamic duo in the post for Charlotte. Deja Lawrence, Michaela Boykin, the Duke transfer. How are these two so electric scoring? Yeah, man. They both almost average 20 points to 20 points a game apiece. Nine to seven rebounds. Uh, they're going to need all that tonight to get this win in Reynolds Coliseum. First matchup in seven years between these programs. I love when two undefeated teams meet right before Turkey Week. It's yeah, a fun yeah, yeah. week of basketball. Absolutely. Charlotte's played NC State well in the Westmore era. Two competitive single-digit games. And two rosters motivated coming in. Deja Lawrence hits the first jumper for Charlotte. Here's Westmore starting five. Jakia Brown-Turner crossed the 1,000-point mark in her last effort. And Camille Hobby, who went scoreless, was the only player not to score for NC State on Sunday. Nice offensive board. And one. There's Madison Hayes crashing the basket. That's what she does well. Here's the missed shot. And Madison Hayes. The and one. That's what she brings to this Wolfback program. Desire and hustle. And toughness. That mouth guard plays a factor for Hayes. A double-double in her last game. Jada Boyd gets the rebound and finishes. Jada Boyd just snatched that. She took that and put it back. Give it to me. That's mine. Starting five for Charlotte. Maya McGraw in the post. We mentioned Boykin and Busick, the three-point threat for this 49er team. Five threes a game last year. The Wolfpack has to play the passing lanes in this game. They got to keep that in defense intensity up. They've been playing great de defensively so far this season. The Charlotte team coming off a convincing win over Coppin State, starting 2-0. Good back down, McMillan. And Shahida floats it home. Nice back down post-up shot by McMillan. Teams littered with all conference players in CUSA and the ACC as we have an armbar foul defensively on Charlotte. Kara Consuegra in year 12. She wants to replicate what Wes Moore has built mm -hmm. here in Raleigh, a reigning conference champion, five trips to the NIT. Now a chance to build as consecutive champs. Yeah, she's building this program. She's doing a great job. She's been there about as long as Coach uh, Moore has been at NC State. But she's building this program. She's... She's doing a great job. Her staff was not idle to this. They looked all week at how NC State built the program, continued success. They want to match that in Charlotte. Well, any school would want to emulate what NC State is doing right now in women's college basketball. Number 10 in the latest AP poll just came out yesterday. 
Boykin, nice move. There's a block right. for Brown Turner. Here's Jakia Brown Turner on the push. And the travel step got her. Westmore, meanwhile, knows his schedule gets a whole lot tougher the next two weeks. It starts tonight. The look on his face says it all. Yeah. No easy win for his program. No, no. And this is a builder game, too, is, you know, playing a, against a tough Charlotte team. They're going to come. They came to play tonight. Charlotte has always played NC State well in the Westmore era. Two competitive contests back in 14 and 15. Yeah, and a lot of these players, they know each other. They've been on the, the circuit. The AU circuit. There's Michaela Boykin, the Duke transfer, who knows NC State very well from three. Yeah, she just knocked that three down. She was wide open. The Wolfpack has to pay, play better perimeter defense. Tenth triple of the year for the Charlotte 49ers. Jada Boyd with the size, and she scoops it in. Jada Boyd in total control. N nice post-up move. Boyd is facing her sister, who's a GA on the Charlotte staff. It's really neat, the ties between these programs. Yes. McMillan backing down and challenging Johnson in the lane. Yeah, she's backing Johnson down. Johnson is playing straight up man-to-man -man defense, and she's backing her down in the paint and scoring. She's got to keep her out of the paint. We noted Diamond with her steals coming in, but that's a hard matchup when you have to play inside. Yes. Brown Turner just dusts the same on that layup. Yeah, there's is Kier Brown Turner. The 1,000-point scorer. She's been in a little sweet shooting slump. Her reaction said it all on Sunday. Prayers to the heavens <laughs> after that bucket. Put yes. her over 1,000. Yes. Both teams off to a nice shooting start. Each over 60%. Here's Diamond. Good dish. Knockdown down triple. There's Shakia Brown-Turner. The prettiest left-hand jump shot in America. I was looking for a big game out of her today. 96 starts for Brown Turner. How will that 1,000-point threshold open up her game offensively? Well, it's, it's not the 1,000 points. It's the fact that it's over. You know, now she can relax and be the Jakia Brown Turner we all know and love, the all-ACC performer. A four-year starter for Westmore's club. Now late in the shot clock. Busick kicks it around. Lawrence drives with one and a block. Madison Hayes there defensively. Madison Hayes, she plays defense hard. That's why she's in the starting lineup. She plays hard. She hustles. Those hustle plays is going to keep her in the starting lineup. First double-double in her career at <laughs> NC State just on Sunday. Another dominant win over Mount St. Mary's, but the competition gets a whole lot tougher the next two yeah, weeks. Yeah, the Wolfpack had 64 rebounds in that game. Here's a steal. Charlotte gets the ball up the court. And McMillan Quick. with the push off gets the bunny. McMillan is playing a great, <laughs> great game so far here. She's just, all her shots have been in the paint so far. Jada Boyd fell to the floor, and that's a traveling. Just lost her footing. Now, nah, Jada said, I got, I got tripped. Not in the eyes of the officials. Kara Consuegra, head coach of Charlotte, challenged Jada McMillan to be a more assertive scorer. How does that get done as a point guard? <laughs> you just have to go for it. When the coach gives you the green light and tells you, I want more offense from you, <laughs> you best to give it to her <laughs> or you'll be sitting on the bench. The Raleigh native also drew a foul there on Diamond Johnson, her first. Because yeah. when McMillan's scoring 15, 20 a game, this Charlotte team's much better. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, you, you know, you got another score out there. You got the inside players averaging almost 20 points a game, and she's being more aggressive. Coach give you the green light. You got to go for it. A two-time CUSA all-conference player. McMillan pops and just missed. Hobby searching for the ball in the post. There's the matchup on Busick. Draws the double and beats them both. Hobby with the footwork. She's giving them the footwork early in the game. She didn't score in the last game, but you can't keep Hobby down. Great point about Hobby. Only player not to score on Sunday when her team puts up 86. <laughs> An odd nugget for sure. See the Madison Hayes cut off the baseline. Hands up. NC State's made its last four shots. Boyd. It's a tough look. 
the board by Busick. Yeah, Busick, great box out. KJ off the glass. Lawrence lays it home. Tough finish for the Charlotte product. <laughs> Lawrence goes to the basket well. She cuffed that, laid it in off the glass. Deja Lawrence grew up in Greenville, moved to Charlotte in mm -hmm. middle school, and represents that city oh so well. Yeah, they love her in the Charlotte area. Johnson loving it here in Raleigh. You let Diamond Johnson set her feet. <laughs> you, you, you you put that in the books. That's the eighth triple for Johnson, most in the ACC. That's her game, but she can go to the hole. She can drive to the basket. She's a triple threat. Boy can travel, and that brings us to the media timeout. NC State red hot from three, back-to-back -back triples here in the first quarter. Yeah, here's Jakia Brown Turner. Right here with a nice pass from Diamond set up. You let, you let her read the seam, she's going to bury it. NC State up three. Join in an exclusive party, 37th member of the 1,000 point club on Sunday. Uh-uh, she, here she is right here. Drive to the basket, here's the 1,000 points. And here she goes, she says, prayers up. I'm glad this is over now, I can be Jakia Brown turn of all. And then earlier tonight, honored for her 1,000 career points with the athletic director, Boo Corrigan, her head coach, Wes Moore. That's awesome, man, that, that basketball. They didn't celebrate this like this back in the day. I'm, I'm a little jealous, right? Ernie? I'm, I'm a little jealous right now, but. Uh, You're a 1,300-point <laughs> scorer in your career, and Brown Turner's excellent as well, preseason all-conference. Yeah, conference. she deserves it. She's been a baller ever since she stepped on the floor here at NC State. Has a nice start tonight. Five points for the Wolfpack. Nice kick out to Boyd. Shooting in front of her sister and knocks down a three. Jada Boyd can take you inside, take you outside, take you to the basket. Her older sister, Ja Boyd, is a GA on yeah. the Charlotte staff. She gave her a nice little look after that triple. <laughs> right in front of her sister. Say, remember this, sis, in the backyard? <laughs> Tough angle for Maya McGraw on the post, the Gainesville, Florida product. His diamond on the push. A matchup of <laughs> NCAA tournament teams from a year back. There's nobody that can guard Jada Boyd down low. So Kiana she's Rembrandt. She's shooting threes. She's doing the post up. She's giving them the footwork. That's a tough matchup for Charlotte. The undersized Rembrandt has to slow down Boyd. Yeah, she's too athletic. And now a moving screen on Rembrandt. Rem Bird, sorry, the Illinois transfer. How can Charlotte make up for the lack of size? That was something Coach Consuegra talked a lot about in our call. Well, what they have to do is, you know, they, they got to shoot the ball from the perimeter, you know, play, you know, outside in. They don't have the, <laughs> the bigs and the plays, you know, the post-up play that NC State has. Kara noted that and said our heart, effort, and accountability have to be real strong tonight. Part of the pillars of this program. Heart is that spells out. Yeah, play hard. Leave it all out there. That's what she said. Brown Turner gets a friendly bounce one night after scoring a thousand. She's red hot tonight. She's red hot. I was expecting a big game out of her. You can't keep her down for long. Perfect night shooting. Three of three for the senior. Lawrence drops a triple team as Charlotte's gone quiet. A 12-2 NC State run. Lots of dribbling. Good pass. Can't hit the three. Yeah, she was wide open. Nice penetration and dish. She just could not finish. Jada McMillan, the two-time all-conference point guard. Tough shot, tough shot. That's the first miss from three for NC State. Madison Hayes has been hitting that three early this season, but that, that didn't have any rhythm to it. There's Jada McMillan, the Raleigh native. McMillan had six points to start the game, and she, she got most of those points in the paint. Tamia Davis short on the three. She's also out of Southeast Raleigh High School. Three players from the same high school program. Yeah, Coach, Coach Carroll was talking about... You know, the players that she gets out of South East Raleigh High School. Coach Nicole Myers, no, no relation. Two-time coach of the year. She said she, she, she coaches them hard there, and she respects her program.
Rembert can't hit the bunny as NC State on a 13-0 run. Starting to pull away in this first quarter. Nice kick. Boyd the extra pass. Johnson the triple. Can't hit. Look at this tussle. That was great ball movement by the Wolfpack. So Charlotte over its last four shooting. Final possession of the first quarter. McMillan, nice pass. Lawrence, the step back. An air ball to end the first quarter. NC State's defense locked in to close out. The Charlotte 49ers building on a great season in 21-22. Conference champions, regular and postseason, third trip to the tournament all time. They do graduate Octavia Jet Wilson, an all-conference guard, but bring back a ton of talent this yeah, year. Yeah, they brought back a ton of talent, and Coach Kara, as she's affectionately known to the players, uh, she's doing an awesome job. She's building something in Charlotte. And then yeah. to start this year, a crazy 21-point comeback in the fourth quarter. That's a great way to start a year. And that's what she's, she has her team believe in, that never-giving-up spirit. Uh, it's it resonating with her players. Uh, she's, uh, she's building something great there in the city of Charlotte. And when these teams have met, very competitive early in the Westmore era. This was seven years ago, but that, that blood certainly still thick. The jump ball called here. Ernie, there are certain programs that get up for that big competition, and mm -hmm. Charlotte has seemed ready to play tonight. Oh, yeah, they came ready to play. I mean, it's an in-state I wouldn't call them a rival, but a lot of these players know each other. They respect each other. And, uh, you know, Conference USA is, you know, is well represented uh, with the Charlotte 49ers. Three Raleigh natives on the Charlotte roster. and One from Clinton, North Carolina, just Clinton. down the road. Yeah, that's right outside of Fayetteville. Charlotte went cold in the first quarter. Gave up a 13-0 run. See Coach Westmore, he made the switch from Diamond on uh, McMillan. So he got Madison Hayes, put a little more size on her, and she hasn't been able to get her shot off since. McMillan she was posting Diamond points. up, yeah. Quickly on Mc Diamond. Jada Boyd pops a jumper, and she's off to a nice start. Jada Boyd, points. <laughs> Jada Boyd is not playing with anybody this season. I, I believe she's going to be an all-conference player. Um, she has WNBA written all over. She's athletic. She can go inside, outside. At, she has nice size and athleticism. So Johnson with the steal. Good pass into River Baldwin. Great position. McGraw does a good job sealing her off. Yeah, not she, an easy shot. Yeah, Baldwin, I mean, she's, you know, she's a big target, and if she keeps the ball up, nobody can stop her, but it Great look by Jada Boyd getting that tour down low. She has to go up stronger. So here's the switch. Hayes on McMillan. Looks to create space. Rembert for three. Man, Rembert had a 30-point game already. Freshman of the week in the conference. That was in the double overtime thriller against App State. Coach Consuegra begging her defense to play hard as Saniya Rivers zips one outside. Hey, the boy just... And that's a foul on the floor. She just can't. No, nobody could. Her first step is just so quick. Am I buying too much stock into the sister-sibling matchup today? Because Jada <laughs> Boyd is a woman on a mission. No, no. I mean, she came to play. She comes to play all the time. But, you know, her sister's not playing. You know, she's sitting over there on the bench. But, you know, uh, Jada Boyd just don't... Nobody can guard her out here. <laughs> that's plain and simple. She's playing like... She's a matchup nightmare. 11 quick points for the NC State forward. Hayes an open three. And it's raining threes. Madison Hayes has worked on that three-point shot all summer. And she got that shot in the floor of the offense. How do you stop this run if you're Charlotte? <laughs> you got to take your time and get the best shot you can get. Like she got right here, that's a good shot. McMill on the old board. Nice offensive rebound. Caleb Boykin can't hit. 
The Wolfpack has a lot of size out there. Here's Sanaya Rivers. Strong move. She's just so athletic. Fights for the board. And a jump ball. Possession, NC State. How about Madison Hayes opening up three ball. Fifth triple for NC State. Here's Madison Hayes. Here's Diamond getting it straight to Madison Hayes. Straight, lining it up. Bang. <laughs> More like. Clank, she got, clank, yeah, clank, yeah, clank, yeah clank. I know, right? She got all the rim on that one. Playing pinball with you here. <laughs> Alongside Ernie Myers, I'm Evan Budrovich. Two clubs with championship aspirations. Charlotte, the reigning Conference USA champs. And NC State, Elite Eight aspirations, if not further, after last year's great run. Yeah, after last year. They, we, you know, NC State has lost a lot with Conan gone and Kayla Jones and Kai Crutchfield and, and Raina Perez. Insert transfers aplenty. Nice look to Baldwin, the Florida State edition who goes right over her defender. That was a better, stronger move to the basket. When she's got you on the back, it's nothing you really can do about it. She has size, length, long arms. Wow, McMillan is blocked by Hayes. See, that defensive switch, Hayes, Madison Hayes is locking her up. Is that Manny Pacquiao game. out there with a the mouth guard? Hayes is playing <laughs> tough. First touch for Mimi Collins. Ernie Charlotte. The NC State has too much size on the baseline. Charlotte needs for a 49ers. And the answer, three-pointer for Busick. And that's what's going to get them back in the game. If they can knock down some perimeter threes, get back into this game. That stops a seven-minute scoring drought. And Baldwin draws the blocking foul. So free throws. Diamond. 6-3 set. NC State hitting the portal harder, and we know that Baldwin out of Florida State. And all three are on the court right now. Collins and Rivers adding some depth for West Ham. Yeah, Coach went to that transfer portal and got two former McDonald's All-Americans, one out of Maryland and one out of Florida State. And the Gatorade Player of the Year national champion out of, out of South Carolina. So, <laughs> Coach, he got the most out of it. He, just an embarrassment of riches for Coach Wetsmore and the NC State uh, women's basketball program. And he's about to check in Isaiah James with a career high 19 in her last effort. You see Isaiah on the court waiting to check in. See how Diamond stopped the ball. Tough look. Good pressure on the shot. As Rembert couldn't hit. Rivers, Sarana, Rivers just glides across the floor. And uh, one. Soft touch from the Florida State transfer. Great pass by Sanaya Rivers to River Baldwin. Transfers to transfers getting the job done as NC State leads by 19 with the N1 coming up next. In check, sophomore guard Isaiah James is here, number 10 in the white. She was fantastic. 19 points at career high in her last game. Yeah, she's playing for the stand. Isaiah James had a great game against uh, Mount St. Mary's. Here she is on the pass. Here she's on the drive to the basket. A nice scoop shot. And Ernie, she found different ways to contribute. Oh, defense, yeah, yeah. Offense. Defense, offense, rebounds. She can knock down the three-point shot. Very athletic. And she has a flair for the game. One of the top freshmen in ACC last year. River Baldwin completes the M1 out of the timeout. This was a 16 to 13 game not too long ago. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Rembert with a step back, a long jumper. That's a hard shot. That's a hard shot over a 6 5 player. See Baldwin fighting for position downstairs. Feeds her and puts it home with the left hand. She's a big target. And she's playing big tonight. River Baldwin, such a size mismatch. 6 5 in the paint. Look at the defense. And Sanaya Rivers. Michaela Boykin heads the free throw line. She's just so athletic, man. I mean, when she, she came down and directed the offense. I mean, she's a point forward, but she, she can play that point guard position. I'm so impressed with her. So, a player who won a state title on this court, Michaela Boykin at Clinton High School, hits her first free throw. 
Tomorrow we'll have the women's basketball game of the night right here on ACC Network. Don Staley and number one South Carolina take on Clemson at Little John Coliseum. Both teams undefeated, and our coverage begins at 6 Eastern. We flying me you down for the game, Ernie? That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, right. Could be a heck of a night. <laughs> I love those intra-conference matchups, ACC, SEC. Yeah, you find out a lot in those games. Those are big games. Amy Collins went through three defenders, and it stays here. NC State gears up for the Big Ten ACC Challenge with the likes of Iowa yeah, coming up. That's yeah. a tough top five opponent. Yeah, and it's it's in Iowa, you know, out in the cornfields of Iowa. Uh, it's going to be a tough game, man. You'll find a lot about your team playing teams like that. This well, is Coach Westmore is not running from anybody. Addison Hayes banks at home. A stretch of five straight difficult elite opponents. You learn a lot about your club in December. Absolutely. He wants to be one, number one in the net. That's what he says. He, you know, he wants to he wants to find out all the warts that his team has in his in his vernacular. Nice pass. White he couldn't finish. And yeah, Caleb Boykin at Clinton High School was the MVP of the state title game. And with NC State, these are heavy hitters of opponents coming up. We'll talk about the post players first. Aliyah Edwards for UConn, a double-double machine, all yeah. ACC. And Monica Cesano, 23 points a game. She was dominant against Drake last night in an overtime thriller. Oh, it's yeah. Like matchup in the post. Yeah, I mean, but we have, uh, NC State has the athleticism to combat that. I mean, those are some great players. We learn a lot about River. And, 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 and both those games are on the road. And there's Baldwin playing tight on defense with a jump ball. Hey, Madison Hayes, she hasn't come out of the game yet. So that tells you what type of defense she's playing for Coach Westmore and what he thinks about what she's contributing on the defensive end to the Wolfpack. Boykin hits the jumper. Nice look for the preseason All-Conference USA product. Seven points. Yes, she's a good-looking player. That's a nice jump shot. River Baldwin is tussling downstairs and a foul here on Rembert. How do you defend Baldwin with that size, that physicality, and that touch? No, I mean, and that's and, and that's what I spoke about at the beginning of the broadcast. The NC State's front line is just too big for Charlotte. I mean, you know, when you got 6'5", 6'3", <laughs> you know, on the baseline, and athletic, it's a tough matchup. Westmore said with River Baldwin, she does a great job of varying up our defense, varying up our offense inside. She can play in a lot of different roles. And then when she gets the ball down, she gets deep down low. I mean, she, she gets position, and she's a big target. She puts that hand up. you got to throw it to her. We talked about post players. How important would Baldwin be against Aaliyah Boston in South Carolina? Oh, she's going to be very important. <laughs> you know, she's a, she can play defense. She has long arms. You know, she's a tough, you know, tough shot to get over. You know, when she's... She has her arms straight up. So Madison Hayes finally gets a breather after a tough 16 minutes. Boykin looks to create, and that's yes. swatted. Too much size down there. James is poked. Good steal. Lawrence up ahead. The fans thought she was fouled. Now the open three. Not in. Lawrence can go inside, outside, and that's what they're going to have to do to get back in this game. They're going to have to knock down some three-pointers. Only the third triple for Charlotte tonight. That's a big one. Zaya James a bit off. That was That's her shot, though. She could miss on Sunday. Baldwin soaring <laughs> up for that rebound. Did you, did you see the, the extension? <laughs> it's like a seven-foot wingspan when you grab it. Collins gets her board. And Good. one. Contact. Ernie Myers, what a second chance by <laughs> Yeah, she didn't give up. She missed the first shot. She's like, man. <laughs> got the rebound back. Put it up strong. Here's Mimi. She got hit on the first one and got hit on the second one. <laughs> she should have got <laughs> She'd rather have the second one than the first one with the and one. But again, the size of NC State is just, it'll wear teams down, you know, <laughs> yeah. and they're and they not giving up. They keep coming at you. To your point, Rember, three fouls. Busick, three fouls. That's hard to replace down low. Yeah, that's hard to replace. 
nine team fouls for the 49ers, who've come from behind a bunch this year. Remember, a 21-point comeback in the fourth quarter against App State. Much taller task tonight. This is number 10, NC State. It's a rattled out three, almost helped. See, and this is Sanai Rivers. She can get the rebound and push the ball up the court. Game playing with pace here in the second quarter. I've not said Jada McMillan's name much after that first quarter. Six quick points. Yeah, the transition D of the Wolfpack is phenomenal in this first half. They get back on defense. Holding Charlotte to 30% shooting. Collins on the mismatch. There's nothing they can do. Busick playing with three fouls. She can't touch her. <laughs> no, she got three fouls. There's nothing you can do with Mimi Collins coming at you at 6-3. Is that the game plan then for Westmore? Pounding in the paint? Pounding in the paint. The Wolfpack has always been an inside-out team. That's how Coach Moore plays. Lawrence navigates through everyone. Gets her own board. She just tossed that one up there. Yeah, fourth shot for Deja Lawrence. Seven points. And even the drives to the basket for the 49ers have become more difficult because of the size of the Wolfpack down low. Bobby floats in a beauty. She a factor in the post presence with the jump shot. That's a hard play team to defend. Yeah, yeah. She, she's so skilled <laughs> with the jump shot, with the moves to the basket. Camille Hobby, she's been through it. She knows how to play this game. NC State riding a 6-0 run. Rivers. Can't hit. Rivers with a sloppy foul. Camille Hobby checks into the game and scores right away, Prince. And this is what she does. As soon as she gets down low, here she goes. Size she's up. Okay, you want to let me get that? Bang. She Reminds does that like all day. Tim Duncan. The way <laughs> yeah, she plays. yeah. Her touch, her presence in the paint, that's a veteran move from Camille Hobby. Uh, absolutely. And she does that all day in practice. And she implements it in the game. The big fundamental. <laughs> As Jack called him, <laughs> Tim Duncan. She's a double-figure scorer, two for NC State, one of four for the Wolfpack. McMillan. Charlotte needs a bucket here, and it can't hit. Wow, Boyd gets fouled. I thought she might have traveled, but there's See, they just, they, 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 they took Mimi Collins out, and they came back in with Jada Boyd. I mean, they just keep coming. The trees keep coming in the game. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, and they all can play. If a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it, did it actually make a sound? <laughs> in this game, yes. <laughs> Those trees are led by the tallest oak, Jada Boyd, with 11 points. You got your, you got your Christmas tree yet, Ernie? Nah, nah, not yet. You're um, a post-Thanksgiving guy? Nah, nah. I mean, down here they have Thanksgiving. Like, they have the parade, like, early, even before Thanksgiving. That's I mean, coming up this Saturday in Raleigh. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Harlem guy, New York. We, we don't start thinking about Christmas until December. Until the snow comes down, right? <laughs> yeah, now. yeah. NC State up 26, pulling away in this second quarter. So you got to play defense for Westmore, man. And, and they're playing great perimeter defense right now. Charlotte only shooting 16% as Tracy Houston threw up a wicked shot. By the way, I love the hair for Tracy Houston. Yeah, she bought it today. The pit transfer. Yeah. She's rocking that Dennis Rodman look. I was going to say cotton candy, but I like that reference too. <laughs> Ten seconds left in the half. Johnson doubles. Just split the defense. Open three. Kia Brown turned the crash in the boards. Couldn't get that rebound. But that's Jessica, Jessica Timmons' shot. She, she, she can knock that three-point shot down. Well, when you score 49 points in the first two quarters, I guess you're bound to miss from time to time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so Maya McGraw re-enters for Charlotte. Last chance for the Niners. This is up in time. 
And NC State taking over in this second quarter. What do you thought of the Wolfpack from two friends? I mean, they just size, size, and more size. I mean, uh, 49ers has, have nothing for the NC State front line. And, and they're getting the ball inside. Uh, I, I don't know how many points in the paint NC, ha NC State has yet. Uh, 26. 26 points in the paint in the first half. You can't win letting that happen in this game. That's the king of the trees. Wes Moore leading his club to halftime up by 26 here at the break. Welcome back to Raleigh. NC State rolling up 26. It's a great time in college basketball right now. Coming up on Feast Week, turkey basketball, great atmosphere. And we learned a little bit about ACC players and their favorite fe Feast Week appetizers and food. My favorite Thanksgiving side dish has got to be mac and cheese. Mac and, mac and cheese. cheese. Collard greens. That's it for sure. Uh, you like an old lady. <laughs> greens. Macaroni and cheese. Corn casserole. Dressing. Black macaroni and cheese. cheese. My favorite side for Thanksgiving is macaroni and cheese with the blanket. That's the, that's the cheese on the top. So when it's fresh out of the oven, yeah, I want it with the, with the blanket on it. You know, Ernie, the list is very <laughs> mac and cheese heavy. Yeah, it was mac and cheese heavy, but somebody went real throwback with the greens. That's 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 where I'm at, man. Although the greens, greens action. Yeah, look, that's that's real southern greens with the hot sauce, man. You you can't go wrong with that, man. That's real. That's real. You know, and, and some cranberry sauce. I'm I'm, I'm, that's, I'm there right I'm, now. I'm going to the Myers house for Thanksgiving. Fried turkey. Speaking of which, we got some big <laughs> games going on tonight in the ACC. Uh -huh. Florida State looks like holding off Florida to pick up a big win in that Florida battle. Pitt, dominant, as you'd expect. Yes. North Carolina just ran South Carolina State out of the building in Carmichael today. <laughs> yeah. Well, Coach said they got five WNBA players over there, so... They should be running people out. Miami <laughs> will get fully healthy next week. They have a couple of starters out, but still dominating FAU. And then Virginia, a tight battle. First-year head coach in Charlottesville. That could be a program that they may keep an eye on a couple weeks. Yeah, and then uh, there's a lot going on in Virginia right now yeah, with, no with that tragedy. So, uh, Sending our thoughts to the folks in Charlottesville. When we come back, we'll get set for the start of the second half. NC State rolling over. Welcome back to Reynolds Coliseum. NC State put up quite the offensive showcase in that first half. 49 points for Wes Moore's club, dominating Charlotte. Well, lucky me courtside with the former NC State legend Ernie Myers. I'm Evan Budjervich. Ernie, 49 points is impressive. But how about the effort of Jada Boyd and company? They have carried the load tonight. They have carried the load, the inside game. There's 26 points in the paint, in the paint in the first half. So that's almost half of what they <laughs> scored right here. So uh, Jada Boyd just getting it done. Doing it the right way. 13 here she points is. for Boyd. Taking this rebound. Give it here. This belongs to me. I got it. Jada Boyd crashing the boards. Here she is. Step back. Knocking the three down right in front of Sis. Sitting on the bench. Here she is wheeling and dealing up with the left hand. She's giving them all. She's giving them a array of different post plays. And then Madison shot. Hayes, who played a ton of minutes in the first half, she continued to score well. Ten points. Yeah, here's Madison Hayes on the putback. But more importantly for Madison Hayes, it's, she's giving them the offense, but her defense in this game has stifled the 49ers. She had the switch on McMillan playing defensively and shot her down. Certainly helped with the rims comment. Is that defense? Yeah, she is. With the tie up right there. And the mouthpiece to show it. Her effort is great. She's just intense on the court. Look at those field goals. 20 of 36. 55% for NC State. And Charlotte, who hit almost every shot early four of the first five, really struggled down the stretch. And the Wolfpack, 28 rebounds. <laughs> you know, eight assists. You know, and the 26 points in the paint. You know, and they're shooting five for nine from three-point range. I mean, that's a that's a recipe for win. For win. Eric and Swagger's club, they know how to come back. 21 point comeback in the opener at App State. I would not sleep on Charlotte this third No, no, no. They're not going to give up. They're not going to lay down. That's for sure. A championship roster all over the place for Charlotte. Two WNITs and an NCAA tournament the last three years. As McMillan finishes it off. Nice start. Yeah, nice start from McMillan. Nice pull-up jump shot. 
That's what she did in the first five minutes. Attack Johnson at six quick points. And that's what she has to do. She's to get. She ha the coach wants her to score more, be more assertive on offense. And Madison Hayes, if she can continue to knock that three-point shot down all season, NC State's going to be a tough out. Madison Hayes is shooting the lights out. Three of four from downtown. Another weapon for this NC State offense. And an illegal screen on Maya McGraw. And she's playing <laughs> tough defense. I mean, she's, she's getting the best play on, uh, on defense, on offense, and she's giving them the business on, <laughs> on the other side, on the other end. What makes Westmore smile? <laughs> Great defense. You know, Coach, he, he, he's not going to smile about too much. NC State can, you know, score 100 points, you know, and the other team doesn't score, and he'll find something wrong. You know, that's, that's what great coaches do. You know, he's going to find the ward. He's going to say, hey, something didn't, something didn't go right. How about that offensive tip to Boyd? Jay, to Boyd is everywhere. Bobby had a nice volleyball tap there to Boyd, who's been unstoppable tonight. 15 points. Boykin steps back. Hand in her face. No easy shots for Charlotte tonight. Here's Diamond on the push. Whoa. A lot of contact. NC State has dominated on the boards tonight. Yeah, I'm here, and here it is right here. Missed shot. Who's flying in? Oh, scooping it in. Jada Boyd underneath. Do you think Hobby knows where she's tipping that ball? <laughs> is that just good timing by Boyd? I think that was just good timing. Because she was in the right position there she to catch and finish. And that's what happens when you crash the offensive glass, man. When, you, when you're active underneath, you know, and she has a lot of bounce, and she's been just scoring at will. 28 points on the point for NC State. That's more than Charlotte scored tonight as McMillan hits the two. McMillan can score. I can see why Coach wants her to shoot the ball more. <laughs> I mean, she's been an all-conference performer. She needs to shoot the ball more. She needs to be more aggressive. 16 points a game last year for McMillan. Now she has to guard Diamond Johnson, which is no easy assignment, and a foul here on Hayes. It's one of those risks you take where you're super eager on the board. You're bound to commit a few fouls. Yeah, yeah. Madison Hayes crashing the boards, and she, she plays with reckless abandon. with a tough look and that is pretty yeah this Charlotte team is not going to give up so they, they, they're they going to keep coming at you the degree of difficulty for the shots tonight <laughs> of the yeah. Niners is amped up so give Kara Consuegra's club credit hit the shots in the second half now can they stop shots is the other question is yeah, Jakea Brown Turner man that's that's the Jakea Brown Turner of old right there Nice drive to the basket, nice pull-up, soft left-hand jump shot. 1,010 points in Jakia's career. I need that fancy number, 1,111. I love when they all synchronize. First paint touch for Maya McGraw, who quickly kicks it out. Uh, the, the, the defense for the Wolfpack is just stifling. Down to two. This is off. Good look for Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, she almost knocked that down, but great defense. And Deja Lawrence is a 50% three-point shooter. Here's Hobby. Whoa. Yeah, she traveled. Oh. NC State has littered the scoreboard tonight, Ernie. Yeah, it's coming from everywhere. It's a, it's a balanced scoring attack from the Wolfpack here. Here you have Diamond averaging 13 points, Madison Hayes 10 points. Isaiah James, she hasn't really scored yet this, this game, but she'll, she'll, she's going to get in, she's going to get hers. And Jada Boyd, she's been a star in this game so far. A new leading scorer every night in the first four, which I find fascinating. Good teams find a way to have all the scorers as Lawrence heats up. How dangerous does that make NC State when four to five different players can lead you in scoring? <laughs> they have confidence. They, everybody on this team can play. You know what I mean? They, 11 players. You know, he's played everybody so far this season. Beautiful dish by Diamond. Hobby just could not finish. 
as Javi commits the foul. This schedule heats up for NC State. It, it'll be tested with the likes of West Virginia, Iowa, Georgia. They need big players to step up. Here's Diamond with a nice dish to Javi. Javi just could not finish. I think she took a tough contact there. Came down hard. She got up. She's tough. Charlotte has made four of its first six shots in the half. They have a reaching foul here, I believe on Hayes. That is Madison Hayes, two fouls in the half. I didn't, I didn't see that foul. <laughs> I didn't see that one. And Madison said the same thing, wait, me? <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah, her, yes, but me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I, I thought she kind of lost the ball, but hey. That was Roy Jackson making the call, one of our officials tonight. Lawrence creates space. Tough shot by Lawrence, man. That's a great bounce. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> she gets a nice lift off that jump shot, too. In today's modern college basketball, you don't see many teams that live and die by the jumper. Charlotte's been executing, though, in those plays. Yeah, they've been getting the nice shots in the lane. In the lane. There she is right here. This is 19 Coming off a nice screen. NBA. Nice pull up. Knocked it down. A little Jay Smooth, Jamal Crawford type of play. A little crossover, <laughs> a little step back, and a little contact. That's offensive. Busick takes the charge. There is a no quit mentality here in Charlotte. No, no, there's no quit in Charlotte. Here you go. Here's Jakia drops to the basket. Good call by the official. Bostic worked hard. She, she paid for that, too. Would you ever have said that as an offensive player? Do you say nice call? No, 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 no. You never give the Zebras any uh, credit by in the morning again. Oh! So Jakia gets tripped after forcing the steal. And she gets it right back. <laughs> that, was a, that was a hard fall by Jakia Brown-Turner. Playing the passing lane. NC State, they've only forced six turnovers, but they've made Charlotte's life so difficult. Yeah, I mean... They're getting the ball inside. And again, the size. And Shakia Brown-Turner stepped out of bounds. That'll lead us to immediate timeout. NC State and Charlotte shooting it well, but the Wolfpack. Midway through this third quarter, the Charlotte dynamic duo of Michaela Boykin and Deja Lawrence have been slightly slowed down today. NC State making it tough for the 49ers. Oh, uh, they're making it really tough. I mean, it's hard to get into the lane. It's hard to get anything, any drives to the basket. They're challenging every shot that, uh, that the 49ers puts up, uh, put up. I mean, it's just uh, the, the defensive intensity has not let down for the Wolfpack. I think the biggest moment of the game was Westmore and his staff recognizing, hey, we have to stop Deja Lawrence, put Madison Hayes on her, and that's settled things down. Yeah, Madison Hayes has done a great job, you know, on uh, McMillan and, uh, and Lawrence. A lot of contact. Count it! Three-point play chance for Deja Lawrence. Deja Lawrence said, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Deja Lawrence said, hold up, I got 13 here. This is 16 right here. You know what I mean? Tough, tough, strong. And one to the basket for Deja Lawrence. Deja Lawrence, who spent her high school years in Charlotte, named to the all-decade team in Charlotte High School. A really good local product. And the way she can score, that's a difference maker for this club. Yeah, she can score inside out, but that's one of the few layups that they had in this game. <laughs> Most of them have been short jump shots, no drives to the basket. You know, that was one of the few layups they got in this game. A 7-0 run for the 49ers. Clock under 10. Rivers sizes up. That's a pretty jumper. That's, That's a pretty, pretty jumper. Sanaya Rivers. And Sanaya Rivers can hit that nice little pull-up jump shot. She's 6'1", and she's been working on that shot. She was a two-point-a-game scorer for the national champs last year for Don Staley. 
Yeah, she she played in the majority of those games that year. I mean, you know, don't let the point per game average fool you. She can play. McMillan late in the clock. Hobby on the switch with the rejection. And if you add Sinai Rivers to the mix, this Tennessee State team is that much deeper. Yeah, unbelievable. Here she is right here. Nice drive to the basket, nice pull up. If she can hit that on a consistent basis, the sky's the limit for Sinai Rivers. So the shot clock is being adjusted. It was not a violation. Let's see how much time they add on. It's like the countdown to New Year's Eve, right? <laughs> yeah, 4.4 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> and they're going to review this, which turns into a media timeout. So we'll take a quick, quick timeout and come back in a second here in Raleigh. Coming out of the timeout, 0.8 seconds added to the clock. Here's how it all unfolds. Good defense by the Wolfpack. Ball goes out of bounds. There. That's a good call. Yeah, that's a good call. Good call by the Zebras. John Capolino and his crew. Catch and shoot. Oh. Executed nicely. Yeah, that was a nice execution inbound play. Rapper for the comes short. Jada Boyd is fighting for everything. Hair gets tangled up. Oh, look at Madison Hayes flying through the lane. With the finish. With that offensive rebound. The Wolfpack has eight offensive rebounds in this game. I want to know if one of our low court camps had the angel angle of that hair tussle. Because <laughs> Boyd's hair got caught in Rembrandt's hair, and they started untangling each other. Got well, some inches to work with. I never had that problem. <laughs> Rembrandt spinning with ponytails oh. everywhere. What? Jada Boyd. Get that out of here. Boyd says long hair don't care with the rejection. <laughs> She faces up Busick. Emil Hobby is just... Whoa! Nice I didn't know she had that shot in her arsenal. Nice. That's like a Dwayne Wade 10-foot fadeaway. Yeah, that was like a leaping leaner. <laughs> Old school style of basketball for Camille Hobby, the senior. Camille Hobby looks for her shot. <laughs> she's going she's gonna, to she's gonna get on the board. And we know it was some of the big players of Iowa, UConn coming up. Aaliyah Edwards, they'll need Hoppy to produce well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She has the experience. She's played against some of the best big uh, women in the game. Here she is, the nice jump shot. Here she is, Madison Hayes crashing the boards. And then some defense here for Boyd. Boyd said, get that out of here. Not in my house. <laughs> A house where NC State has won 48 straight games against non-conference opponents. Oh, man, it's, it, this, this, is, this is a tough place to play. And, and if you look around here, you know, the fans, the, the support of the fans here, in uh, Valvano Arena at Reynolds Coliseum, they support this team. And I do want to clarify, unranked non-conference opponents, the loss to South Carolina last year in this building. Uh, and Georgia. That rattled out. Oh, last year. Madison Hayes was like the string that connected the players, and when she pulled, everyone else fell apart. So I got a tighter lace is double knotted. Here's the Nine Rivers on the pull-up. Watch this. Wait for it. Okay, well, I'm going to leave. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Did I trip you? They were boxing out hard <laughs> on that play. That's what I can say. Charlotte looks to stop a 6-0 run as Kiana Rembert heads to the line. She had 13-9 in the opener at App State. Here's Saturday's Week 12 ACC Network College Football at noon Eastern, 7-3 Duke. They've won three straight. They score off against 6-4 Pitt, who won two in a row. And capped off with a primetime Wake Forest in Syracuse at Truist Field and Winston-Salem. Yeah, she's a good-looking freshman, Rampart. Uh, Are you ready for some football in it? 
Yeah. We got Feast Week. We got Women's College Basketball. Big week. I oh, mean, this is the best time of the year right now, man. All the tournaments and had some rivalry football into. Whoa. Mimi. She kind of rushed that. Deja Lawrence, like a bat out of hell, goes going to the bucket. Going to the hole. Back the other Beautiful way. pass. JPT, that's lovely. Shania Rivers with her head up. Finds ja Jakia Brown Turner for the nice layup. Charlotte has not scored in three minutes. Coach Consuegra mentioning, we want to build up to the level of NC State. What do they learn from a night like this where the shots just haven't fallen? It's just tough, man. It's, it's, it, this is a tough place to play. And look at River Baldwin. She just, she didn't even have to jump. Because Charlotte's been to the pinnacle defeating Middle Tennessee State in the uh -huh. tournament, heading to the NCAAs, playing Indiana. But to take that next step, they have to beat a team like NC State. Yeah, they would have to beat a, a you know, a team, a ranked team. You know, it's just too much experience out here on the court right now for the Wolfpack. Size, strength, you know, athleticism. And Jada McMillan's not afraid of the challenge. No, no, no. I, that's one thing. They, they, they're not going to give up. I mean, they're going to keep fighting. That, that's the spirit of their coach. That's what she, you know, you, you know she's going to lose. She might lose this game. But they're going to go down swinging. And Cara Consuegra, she was an All-American in 2001 in Iowa. She said, yeah, I get to peek in those Iowa games <laughs> yeah. from time to time. Another top 10 team at NC State. Hits the bucket right before the buzzer. Jakia Brown-Turner. Jakia Brown-Turner, Jada Boyd. It's the senior night for NC State. Here she is. Taking them straight to the hole. Jakia Brown-Turner. Making it look easy. One of the Ernieisms this year <laughs> is stay to play on the court. Play to stay in this deep roster for NC State. Nine players with 15 minutes. Jada Boyd's done her part. And how about just the balance of scoring? Can this team, how do you find out who's going to play, who's not going to play? Well, Madison Hayes has claimed that spot. She's trying to keep, she's trying to stay on the court here. Uh, Jada Boyd, uh, she's been on. She's, she's, <laughs> she's played to stay already. You She's been minutes. here. She's got three rings. <laughs> to stay on the court as Isaiah James off of that jumper. But yeah, I mean, you, they got a balanced scoring attack. I mean, 15 players have, you know, uh, 15 minutes a game for each one of these players. And here's the well-rested Diamond Beautiful Johnson. Beautiful pass. There's a time. She finds Mimi Collins. Diamond Johnson with a head up. Leading Mimi Collins to the basket for the nice lay-in. Three more assists for Johnson. 13 dimes on the year. Only one turn. She's not scoring the ball like you would normally see uh, Diamond Johnson, but she's, she's leading the team. She's delivering on the passes. She's not turning the ball over. She's leading this ball club. That's the growth of the point guard position for the third year player. Good position. Good kick out. How about that pass? Diamond Johnson feet set. Forget it. Don't sleep on the fact that Johnson has nine three pointers this year. That's in four games. Yeah, that's what. That's how West inside out, man. Uh, River Baldwin found Diamond Johnson. She's got an assist. Here's Jessica Timmons, who was part of that bench scoring threat for NC State. That's knocked out of bounds by Busey. Here's Diamond Johnson on the push right here. Head up to Mimi Collins for the nice lay-in. Thank you, Don. And here she is here. River Baldwin said, okay, I'm getting an assist this game, Ernie. Diamond Johnson with a feet set splash. Those are two of the 11 assists tonight for this team. <laughs> and when you're 6'5 forwards, passing it to your 5'6 guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, Licks lights out. How about that pass to Johnson? Knock it down the three. Diamond Johnson must have heard me. I said, she's, she hasn't scored the ball too much. 
<laughs> say, be quiet, Ernie. I'm going to knock two that, threes down. The fact that Diamond Johnson can only have six points, and yet this team's clicking offensively, what does that say? <laughs> Yeah, but she's doing more. I mean, she's she's delivering on the assists. She's contributing in every facet of the game for the Wolfpack. And she's leading them. And that's what NC State needs come NCAA, ACC tournament time. The better she can play, the better this team gets. Uh, absolutely. I mean, she's, uh, she's proven to me and a lot of people in these first four games that she's more than just a scorer. As Jada McMillan hits the jumper, we'll take she, a timeout. And she hasn't turned the ball over. We'll take the media as well. NC State continuing to lead by 32. This stretch begins a difficult slate of games for NC State. You look at the opponent, final net, top 100 in the country. That's the best in the ACC. Yeah. Look at these road visits. Iowa, UConn, and Georgia, who beat NC State last year. Yeah. Hard schedule. Yeah, hard schedule. Uh, overtime game here against Georgia. Uh, I mean, Asia Fudd is averaging 29 points a game. She had a 32-point game no the other night against, no uh, yeah, against uh, um, Texas. Uh, and uh, Kaylin Clark, I mean, she's just... Uh, you know, she might be player of the year in, 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 the, in the country. Both on the Wooden Award watch list, and those two guards are coming up for NC State the next two weeks. Think of the star power in those matchups. Yeah, there's some big games coming up. And if NC State's defense can travel, that's one thing that Coach Westmore, he'd love to see yeah, in those matches. Yeah, defense has to travel. Your offense might not travel with you, but your defense has to travel in order for you to win. Think about UCF last year, the Knights led the country in scoring defense, 46 points allowed. NC State, more of that defensive mindset tonight. Yeah, Coach Moore always says, man, your, your defense has to remain consistent. You, you, you know, your shots might not fall, you know, you, 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 your offense might not click all the time, but your defense has to remain consistent. That's a good three for Charlotte on the other end. Johnson navigates. Oh, my goodness. Diamond Johnson just weaving. Through the lane it. with a nice scoop shot. She can shoot the three. She can go to the hole. She can dish the ball. Timmons forces the turnover. Nice Plays bounce well. pass. Yeah. How about that? See how she separated. She spread it on the on the break. Timmons and got the ball to Isaiah James for the nice lane. NC State has scored 80 points in all four games to start the year. And yet defense might be the biggest score Whoa. of this night as Baldwin goes down. She's fouled. She went down hard. Our next All Access, the ACC Live premieres Sunday. It features Virginia women's soccer, Louisville volleyball, and Syracuse men's soccer. They'll get unprecedented access into the lives of these student athletes. Coaches and staff, 7 Eastern, right here on ACC Network and the ESPN app. I love those behind-the-scenes stories. Talk yeah. a lot about these kids. Yeah, yeah, you heard a lot about them. all the access ACC. They get deep with it. Another three-pointer for NC State. That's nine tonight. Isaiah James, man, she, she can light it up and real quick. Remember, she scored 19 on Sunday in the blink of an eye. Just talk about your play to stay mentality. These players want to earn minutes. Oh, yeah, every minute counts. You know, they're looking at every play. They keep shot charts of every shot that goes up inside, outside. Yeah, yeah. Getting back on defense. You know, it, it, it doesn't matter what the score is. And here's Sophie Hart checking in. The 11th player, all 11 have now played for NC State. River Baldwin played a great game tonight. She came, she came to play. This is the best game. She's played since she's been here. I saw a smile from Westmore. Yeah, the mind. Yes. He's going to need her against Connecticut. The next game. The fat heads are on full display. Didn't affect the second shot. Davis three turning to the Charlotte line. Michaela Boykin and her return to Raleigh. Seven points, three fouls. Had a hard night.
good steal. River Baldwin. I mean, uh, Sinai Rivers. You're thinking of River. I can see what you're saying. <laughs> Cape Fear River. The feeds into Raleigh. <laughs> A river tried to run through it, but she got stopped. <laughs> That's called a dam, my friend. <laughs> Built by a beaver. Oh, man. Timmons. And Timmons run through the dam with a charge. Charge. It's going to go overboard. Jessica Timmons can get tricky with it when she wants to. She can handle that basketball. J.C. Busick remains down. And here comes the training staff for Charlotte. Yeah, she went down hard. Got the wind knocked out of her. Here's Jessica Timmons on the shake hand. Going to the basket hard. Yeah, she knocked the wind out of her. You know, it's one thing to take that yeah. charge. It's the other to get the physicality of that play. Yeah, she got the, she got the wind knocked out of her. I mean, you, you, you just see it. She was in pain. JC had a but she stood her ground. You know, you, you got to take those fouls. Three charges tonight. Yeah. Let's add up. A lot of physicality. Charlotte also has a tough schedule coming up. Illinois, Clemson, and Wake Forest in the next two weeks. I love how these programs not afraid to test one another coming into conference play. Whether it's the ACC or Conference USA, as that one bounces in. Isaiah James. Just to look, she's serious about it, man. Look, the, the intensity on her face in a 40-point ball game. <laughs> Is that offensive? You bet. Jessica Timmons said, I can do that too. <laughs> I can deliver the blow, I can take, I can take the blow. Here's Jessica Timmons standing her ground. But you see how she took the charge? She put her arms up. That's how you're supposed to take a charge. You know, she protected herself, and, and, and they ran into her, she fell out. That's how you suppose it, that's textbook right there. Isaiah James. She's putting it up. But she Lawrence can do that. The other way. Knocks it home. Yeah, Lawrence, she, I think she has 18 now. 18 uh, points. She's going to get her average. Deja averages 20 entering tonight. Here's Sophie Hart. Nice pass by Sophie. Foul on the floor. Rember reached in. How dangerous can this NC State team be? Very dangerous. I mean, the weapons they have inside, outside. They have veterans out here who've won uh, three ACC championships. You got, you know, Jakia Brown Turner. You got Diamond Johnson. Jada Boyd is playing lights out. And, and, and anybody that's coming in the game has contributed positively to the uh, outcome of this game. And, yeah, and uh, Madison Hayes has 15 points and six rebounds. And Timmons joins the party with a three. She's got her first points. Just when you think, yeah. what can you see? <laughs> Ten players have scored for NC State. Yeah, the only one who hasn't scored yet is uh, Sophie Hart. Jessica Tennant, she can handle that ball. Charlotte native, playing her hometown team, North Mecklenburg High School. There's Mimi Collins. That's her shot right there. That nice mid-range pull-up shot, she can knock that down with consistency. Timeout, Charlotte. We'll take a quick break here in Raleigh. Come back for the final three minutes when we return. The proudest mom in the building tonight, <laughs> Jada and Aja Boyd's mom. Aja, the GA at Charlotte. Jada, of course, for NC State. Proud mom. Two kids in college, one working, and one is just showing out tonight on the court here. Enjoy watching her daughters both have success in basketball. Absolutely. Jada's club is rolling here in the second half, searching for a 4-0 start. Sophie, she, she wasn't ready. Hey. There's a reach and foul. Roach poached in. Cameron Roach at a Hopkins, South Carolina. 
And Jada with her mom at the 10 says a pretty good night. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She was she was just she came to play. She knew her sister was in the building, her mom sitting over there. Jada Boyd is just uh, I, I believe and, and, and I believe she could be a WNBA player. So Timmons had the Sports Center top 10 play on the opening night. She looks to have another there with a nice little deke and then the jumper and the foul. And yeah, she has a nice, you know, she has that sidestep, that nice juke step. She throws you off balance and then she goes to the basket. Timmons definitely puts up the quote unquote highlight plays. <laughs> yeah, and she, uh, one of the highest scoring high school women's basketball players in the state of North Carolina. 2,000 yeah. points in North Mecklenburg. Yes. And she plays ninth or 10th fiddle on this team. You know things are going well when the head coach sits down for the final two minutes. <laughs> he gave everybody a pound just a few minutes ago saying good job. This club will hit the road for UConn coming up in four days. Top 10 team. Yeah, another Sunday afternoon game. But this time on the road. And look at, the, look at the defense. Dominate Texas 40. a couple of nights ago. That'll be a heck of a matchup. They're traveling on Charlotte. What will NC State need to do well from playing one level of competition to an elite program in UConn? I uh, mean, they just got to continue to play like they've been playing, you know, just keep playing. Oh. One Tough of the shot. blemishes tonight. James yeah. Nailett pointed to her chest. She's an excellent three-point shooter. I mean, she can shoot the ball. How about that? 32 bench points for NC State. It comes in bunches for Westmore's club. Five and double figures. And James, the steal. They're still playing hard. They're not giving up. I mean, they're getting on the floor. They're diving for loose balls. Tonight, James is playing the passing lanes. You know, it's play to stay, man. You know, coach got to have confidence putting you in the game, in a game like Connecticut, you know, against UConn. Or, or Iowa, or Georgia, or it, just in the ACC. Sonia Rivers to the free throw line. You know, it's one of the toughest conferences in the country this year. RPI-wise, NC State, number two in the country last year. They want to be number one. They want to be number one. And, they, and they, they're not running from anybody. They have enough talent on this ball club to play with anybody in the country. Speaking of anybody, Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern, the ACC Huddle Crew will be at Truist Field in Winston-Salem. And Wake Forest gets you ready for a full day of football. We'll also have halftime, pre- and post-game shows throughout the day. At 6.30, get the full wrap-up of the afternoon game to get set for tonight's primetime. Syracuse and Wake Forest on ACC Network at 8 o'clock. Shania Rivers missed both free throws. Which will not have any effect on the outcome of this game. <laughs> Might have an effect on her race to 100 points. Yeah, or, or her free throw percentage average. <laughs> Come on, Sophie. We talked earlier in the game about Westmore finding things to take notes of in the next practice. Oh, yeah. There's always warts. There's always Coach Axel. Yeah, he, he has to find the warts, man. It, it's going to be something in this game. And they're almost up by 50. Uh, Seven players with at least eight points. As Charlotte stepped out of bounds, that was Cameron Roach, the Kentucky transfer. She's a three-time all-academic standout at Kentucky. Liberal art major getting a graduate degree at Charlotte this year. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, there's 30 seconds left. They're going to get the ball into Sophie. Hart begging for it. Jump ball. Yeah. Sophie looked at her like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was mauled. <laughs> That'll go down as NC State's 12th turnover of the night, closing out the game on a 12-2 run. Sonia James is playing the passing lane with 20 seconds, 10 seconds left. 
And Rivers will go to the free throw line here. Nine seconds left. A chance to make up for the last missed free throws. I mean, the intensity level on defense hasn't given up. And NC State is up almost 50 points. Tonight, Rivers to the free throw line. Well, we have a minute. ACC PM with Mark Packer, Trey Boston, and Taylor Tannenbaum. They'll talk football. We'll also have the latest from around the conference. Weekdays at 4 Eastern right here at ACC Network and the ESPN app. Sophie Hart a rebound, but can't hit to close out the night. She got one up, though. She got one shot up in this game. Absolute dominance for NC State. Undefeated conference champions coming in, and the Wolfpack cruise to a 96-48 victory. They just had too much for the 49ers. I mean, you know, inside, outside, the defense is just stifling. Uh, they, they, you know, they shut them down. The Wolfpack is just, they just had too much for the 49ers in this game tonight. 10 players score for NC State. The homestand checked a lot of boxes for West Morse Yeah, club. checked a lot of boxes for this ball club. And uh, it's a good send-off to play against a great UConn team. NC State heads to UConn. But for here in Raleigh, we say good night. Ernie Myers, Evan Budgerich, and our crew, good night from Raleigh. This is a presentation of ESPN.